Hello guys, welcome to the channel. As you can see here, we've got a level 80 possession deck to show you. But before we begin, I'd ask you to please like and subscribe. If you could tell by the thumbnail, we're trying to make these videos a lot better so it can get recommended and then improve our videos off of that. So if you'd like to help us improve our videos or get things like giveaways, please like and subscribe. And you can also check out this Dustin Please the GNTCG player. Without do, let's look at the list. So first of all, I mean this looks like a pretty normal one, except for a couple things. So this one is a bit more teched out list. But let's start. I mean, if you don't know what Adaptation is, first of all, it's the most busted deck ever. But altered creation. So the idea is this deck you first turn get altered creation out. Making you do 30 more damage and take an extra prize. So how you do that is you need to get a water energy. Play two water energy plus a reinforce and an energy spinner. So you attach one. And the idea is if you metal saucer to a Zacian or stun physical damage into the energy switch on to ADP, you can first turn it out for full effect. Then basically what we got after that is we got some Zacians, which are going to be doing 260. Which can one shot consistency Pokemon if you everything got an extra prize. So if you gust two consistency Pokemon with the boss three bosses, the Great Catcher and the one Elder Gloss you play, that's game. And then another thing that we play is V Max matchups are uncertain because we can't always one shot to gust. So we play one one Zamazent to help out that. Play one Stun Fist because kind of our tech guy. He, normally people would play Drell in this spot, but I don't for reason. First of all, I like Stun Fist because you can make it so he doesn't get one-shotted by anything. And that's good. He can end up going through things since Trapping by actually does go through things. I have tested this. And basically he's there so he doesn't get one-shotted, but he can act. The GX move does not work on the F Image, but he will be hitting 90. Then, if someone attacks him, that's going to turn back. So, if like a Zacian attacks him, he can not only kill the Zacian, but the next one. So, some people might make the argument for two, but you only play one. Also, play a Fion. It's extra gusting, and to make it so that we don't duck out. Play an Orangu, because Primate Wisdom can save us resources like gusting. We play Turbo Patches to excel extra energy, make sure we get a Jex move. We play Quick Ball. And Cherish Ball. Cherish Ball is mainly to find identities to keep us going. We also play Quick Balls to find things. Of course, play four switches. So we often need to switch around Zashian and stuff if we don't start with ADP. Play two capes of toughness. This is to boost ADP so we don't boost HP so we don't get one shotted. That we do play one Leon because that's sometimes needed by Zashian or Stunfish to get a one shot. And so we play one of it. And if you need a second one, you can always Elder Gloss. So I play Elder Gloss, one of use the ones. Play two air balloon because a lot of additional training was always nice. I always love to stick it on an orange guru and uh orange guru up so you can bench and then of course you just play three miners and four researchers so we can dig for more things. That is the deck. The deck has a pretty good game plan. The game plan is really just GX move and smash kind of things. So yeah, this deck usually wins within three turns or four turns. So make sure you watch till the end since there's a lot of good battles. Let's roll the battle clips. Okay guys, let's get into this first game here. Playing ADP Z. Let's see what we're up against. Say hype back, and we are going first, which isn't bad. We do get to have get an energy on ADP, which is good, and we can Intrepid Sword once, which Intrepid Sword is a very nice ability. And we face a Pika deck. It's pretty good for us. I think we'll save a few. I mean, we're really, probably gonna go for a two gust game. 
I think I probably can just hold this hand. Probably next turn we bench Fionn. We find things with quick balls and we research but save bosses. See if that's the Dene 1 coming down. We don't even need to worry about Fikas. Ooh, they just lost a ton. Hammers is mildly annoying. I am liking how much energy they are losing, though. Gotta wonder how much energy switching energies do they play. Might be able to just pure resource mill them. See if they get the attack off of both hands. Another hammer. Three hammers. Which is okay. We, we can still pull off first turn. ADP. It's gonna, is it going to be harder? Yes. Still possible yet. Yeah. Ooh, look at my opponent digging. Look at that. They bench their second target. Okay. So we could draw into a metal saucer. That would be great. Okay, I'm going to see if I can play out this hand in order to crowbat. So I grab my second Zacian. Spoon, bench Zacian. Discard switch. Grab a crowbat. The reason why I'm doing this is I just really want to get out this first turn ADP, and if I can grab and get a metal saucer, no metal saucer, we at least do find the water energy. Sadly, I do have to research, meaning I do have to find. And we found it. Let's go. And they only have one hammer. So yeah, sometimes you just gotta dig with this deck. Make sure you get out that altered creation. Boom. We're only down one bosses. We've got Fion. Actually, no, we're not down any bosses. That's actually really cool. Ooh, another research coming from my opponent. They're down. A boss. They bench a Mew Mew. They actually whiff. Which allows us to guess one of our targets. I'll put Mari on top, that way we always have some hand support. And there's half the game there. I believe I play three bosses, but if I don't, I have an Elder Gloss. So really, I use up Fionn. I quick ball away for an Elder Gloss, and I guess the Dene for the win. Or oh, there's also Great Catcher too. Finding more hand support off of this. We'll see what my opponent does. They've literally drawn into nothing good, so. That is pretty good for us. If they stop. Oh, they boss. They boss Zacian. Which, that's game there. We just simply switch and we can that. I mean, it feels bad for our opponent. They just never drew into anything good. I think that was just a ripperoni draw for my opponent. See, we could have kept going to find Gust, but we can simply just Brave Blade. I'll come out for three prize cards. Which is really good. That that's how fast the games are. Three four turn games. If we would have gone second, we would have had a faster game. But, that was good. I mean, let's look at our opponent's stack. I mean, they only played two energy switch. I might have ramped that up. Didn't seem too bad of a count. I don't know why they had all that energy disruption, though. So, let's get on to the next. Okay. 
Let's do a second battle. We are one and zero right now. The other second battle, the first one of punish a draw. Are we facing another Picaram deck? And we have a good matchup as long as we can draw well and find that GX move. Pretty good. I think we're gonna try to go second. This is not a fun start. I'll tell you that. I'd have to do something risky like I did any. Don't like to see that energy attachment. See a radar coming down. Does that mean we get a Denny already? Okay. Energy switch and a switch for just a Denny. That tells us a lot. Session. Already. I think they probably didn't want to do that. I mean, that game was fast, so I mean, we're 2 0, but I'll probably end up recording four games since, I mean, that game was like really, really fast. Did get an Incineroar, though. Incineroar is a fun card. Makes me wonder if someone will get a Ninja and Zork GX and just put a ton on the bench and then accelerate 12 energy one turn. I don't know. So, Tunization. I mean, that last start was not the prettiest, but... I mean, we won. Let's see what we face this time. Please be something different than a Pika. Okay. So, see, a fire box probably means it's a fire deck. Good. I mean, they generally bench something. We see a Dreadnought coin. And we won the coin flip. I'll go second, hoping to get out that. Turn GX move. I think you can pretty much see our strat from there. Looks like our opponent took a mulligan to... Oof, what are these starts? I think starting with the Fion is probably the best move. We may just have to Marnie. Opponent takes a mulligan. That's nice. More mulligans, the better. Two mulligans. Cramorant. Okay. You just probably get our GX move out and just attack him as much as possible. Stun Fisk will be good. The idea is just pressure him as much as possible. I will bench Stun Fisk. I will Marnie to try and new hand. And if we don't get off to that GX move, that will be a bit of sad. You don't want to give them time. Ooh. That is rough. This is very rough. Giving them all this time is definitely not fun, though I think we can make a comeback. Ooh, they play Gall Spot, though. That is a good idea, and that is annoying. We'll see though if they play any if they play consistency Pokemon. I'll be good. See, I'm Marnie. Tell me down. I mean, we can search out any four cards. You got no energy down though. <sighs> so come on, gonna keep screwing me over. Oh, they do play consistency Pokemon. They don't play Mawali to take it out of their hand. Oh, but they bench it. So that's three prize cards there, and that gives us an opportunity. They play Bear Scooter. Don't know why. We'll see if they uh, they get an attachment cram. That's fun. 
and we can continue our quest to get something rolling. We may lose, just because they may just get so set up with me not drawing anything. Okay. So you can quick ball and attach 1 to ADP in Intrepid Sword. Good news, though, is that the Dene does allow us to make back a lot of time. I mean, for some reason, Pokemon sometimes just likes to give you bad draws. Okay, we have an Air Balloon. That is good. We also have a Turbo Patch. Probably Quick Ball away, Energy Switch. For our own Pokemon, which is not fun when they play Golf Spot, but you kind of do, gotta do. And we'll probably actually use Fion, try and get him off of that Aracuda. Ooh, so they want Bear Scooter back. I don't know what Bear Scooter really does for them in that matchup. Matchup. See if they end up attacking us. If they do, that's probably good for us. See the research. Two crams are gone. That is nice. See a calm, a cramorant for probably a pod. Yep. Don't like to see that. Luckily, they're only hitting 180 right now. Ooh. Do good at Pokemon Catcher. That is not fun. I'll do uh, 180. I think we'll use Fion. And I gotta get my GX move off. I'll probably bring up the Dene. And sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. See what they bring up. And we're gonna altered creation. And then see how things go from there. Definitely would have liked to get this off a couple turns earlier when they were still getting set up, but sometimes you just gotta make Okay, I did decide that we were going to do a fourth game. So let's see if we can get a fourth game. Hopefully, we can get a good draw this time. Because, I mean, I don't know what else I could play. I played plenty of digging. Don't know how I that bad. I mean, I play around what most counts play. So, don't think it, this problem is really my build. I think it's just Pokemon straws. I and mean, if you don't believe me, feel free to look at other counts. Why, Pokemon? Why are you doing this to me? I guess this one's not too bad. Forgot whether we're going first or second. Or definitely, you never start the Dene. Huh. Pidgey coming down. Is this the control deck? Okay. I think we'll get the Dene, but I think we're going to try and get the Zashian to see if we can turbo patch to it. Prize to Zashian. Oh, uh, tells. I think it'll get, just get rid of another energy, which is, I mean, I don't like getting rid of energies, but I don't want to get rid of the switch. Definitely want to conserve the feeling, because if this is a control deck, having a Fion to make it so that they can't deck us out. Ah, this would have been perfect if we would have gotten that heads. Good news is that we can still dig. It is very important to keep digging. We should not need Damazen to. And I think we whiffed it. I mean, unless I wanted to crowbat. I wanted to whiff this. I think I'll get rid of Great Gut Churches, I'm gushing gone, but it's worth it. We crow that for the 
two things left in our deck. And we don't find it, which is a bit sad. So we'll just intrepid sword. Find an energy. So I guess if they don't bench anything, we could just switch into Zacian. We do already have a Zacian powered up, which is nice. That is real annoying. I think they are a control build. But we'll, we will see if they get anything down, though. Because if they don't get anything down, simple switch into Zashian will be game. I mean, control build is probably ADP's least favorite matchup. But we'll see. We will see. Huh? We do see the clip all coming down. I don't really see a swallow blue. Which probably means I'm gonna be want to getting out the stun disc. Think. Do I have a metal engine in my discard file? Yes, I do. We're going ham on these hammers. Okay, so I think the plan is switching to Stunfisk. This is the reason why I play Stunfisk. Switching to Stunfisk. And all oh, trapping bite. For only one prize card, sadly, but they hack me back. There's gonna they're gonna get KO'd. So basically, good right now is if they bench anything, I guessed it. So yeah, if they speed dive me, that's game. Bench anything. Gonna probably try to gust it. See if I can get a heads on the turbo patch. Tell's probably just a touch there. And trapping bite. We'll see if they end up attacking me. Do you get a capture energy? But if they kill themselves to switch into a Zashian, should hopefully get some results. Or that that has actually HP. Just time fisk. See if they choose to attack me. If they don't, I'm obviously gonna boss it up. Ooh. They boss one of mine. That is annoying. Gonna switch into Stunfisk. Cape here. Gonna uh, boss that. I'm gonna uh, kill it. Because I don't like them having other options. Find a saucer. Which is a great find. Out of power up Zashin. We'll see if they can do anything. Probably should have fumed instead of bossed. Oh well. Guess they could try to just deck us out. I don't know if they do end up benching something.
Yeah, the problem is I'll deck out right now if they don't. So that just may be what happens. Then they just sit on Altaria. Not nothing happen. Which I uh, I mean I don't I mean there's nothing I can do. I mean that's why some builds play Geraldon. I don't I I like some fish more situational, and if you lose these games, sometimes you lose them. Okay, you play a mine. You know, I'll just try and Marnie the pin if they slip up and bench something. I don't know, just may just may take the loss. Ooh, they play it all. They don't know that yet, but that is big. I mean, that's why the zone's effective, I mean. That is why lots of people play Duraldon. I don't. I mean, you could definitely switch things for Duraldon. Like, if you switch Dunfist for Duraldon, which may be a good idea. I mean, it's really just a pass fest. Probably, I just morning when I have opportunity for. Already down one though. Do I have any switches left? No, oh, I have one. I think I'm just gonna concede. I mean, not a ton I could do this build. Take the water. Yeah, that's the only thing. Change if you want to switch out Sunfist for a Duraldon, that might have worked better, though I do like Sunfist for those non GX matchups. And other than that, I mean, it worked as expected. And I uh, guess I'll do an outro here. I think if you end up liking this video, please like and subscribe. I would like to start doing new things on this channel, and that can only happen if you like subscribe and so that I can get recommended to the people because if that happens round thing we can do things like giveaways which I would love to do it's free for you guys but the money I get from YouTube I can buy things like coats to give you guys and I can also just do better decks and stuff so if you want to for free you can like and subscribe so I can give stuff back to you guys you can also check out the Sessions with the GNTCG player. Thank you for watching.